What's up guys? Welcome to your 175th Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to be doing in this tutorial is basically getting everything set up uh, to actually draw a triangle onto our emulator, finally. Um, it might take one more tutorial before we actually can see it, but uh, we're at least going to draw to it. So, in that line of code that I wanted to show you guys or why I didn't type in the last tutorial, because I wanted to try and find uh, some pictures of how it would connect um, our vertices uh, using these different uh, modes for the most part but I couldn't actually find any pictures online so uh, we're just gonna wing it and I'll try and explain it to the best of my ability but all we're gonna do is again within our enabled client state we're just gonna relate to the GL object being passed in again and we're just gonna say GL draw um, and we have two draw methods arrays and elements um, and we're gonna use the elements because we have in uh, basically a index buffer uh, set up again that short buffer um, and that's what we're going to relate to with the draw elements with the draw arrays you don't actually need a, a buffer as you can see within the parameters but you know we want to get a little bit more specific to draw the way that we'd like so we're going to use the draw element and the mode is what I wanted to show you guys basically it's going to connect our points or our vertices uh, in different or indexes I should say um, because again we created these three points out of the coordinates for the most part and it's going to connect those points um, different ways so again we're going clock again we're going clockwise um, starting at 0 1 2 and we can connect those either by like creating a line we can connect those with like a line where it connects the last and the first point that we started with uh, we can connect it with actually just building a triangle which we're going to use and there's also other ones like triangle fan and some other uh, other options that you guys can use um, but uh, I, again I couldn't find any pictures on that so sorry about that but um, again all we're going to do is we're going to relate to our GL10 object or class and then we're just going to say GL underscore triangle and yeah we have a triangle strip a triangle fan um, but we're just going to create one triangle uh, you guys if you can find it you know um, like leave a comment in the video or something to help other people see what these actually do basically a strip is if we had like 10 points it just like start at this point strip it or you know go like a zigzag down all those points and create triangles that way into a strip um, a fan if we had like a point here uh, like this is our point zero then we have point one two three four or five all around it it create triangles based off that center point um, but since we're just creating one triangle, we're just going to say uh, we want to just build a triangle out of it. And then what we want to do is we want to tell them how many points or indexes we have. Again, our index array up here has three points, so uh, we're just going to say three. Or um, just to be a little bit more program cautious, we can just say p index uh, dot length. And for the type, again, we have to define what type our buffer is. And again, it's the the short type that we have up here, um, and just like the last time we set up this pointer, we referred to that as a float. So we have to tell that um, you know the draw elements method that we're working with uh, shorts. So all we're going to do is just say our GL10 10 object or class. Why do I keep saying object? Uh, dot GL underscore unassigned short or unsigned short. Sorry and we're just going to click that and that's going to define what type we're working with and then lastly we need to set up our buffer which we call pbuff and uh, and there we go we pr we're pretty much done with that line and all that again all that's doing is going to say hey we're working with three points or three indexes and uh, we are, we're working with a short and this is basically the order that I want and I want you to get to draw a triangle again going counterclockwise um, all that good stuff 